a Silicon Valley startup has developed a flying car prototype that it claims anyone can pilot. Called Black Fly, the single seat, all electric aircraft doesn't require the flyer to have a pilot license in order to operate it in the US, according to Palo Alto based Opener. Opener first drew up concepts for Black Fly nine years ago, and has now built an early prototype that can travel 25 miles at speeds of up to 62 miles per hour. Black Fly is an ultralight vehicle, that consumes less energy than a traditional electric car, and is also built to be stealthily quiet. The battery can be recharged in as little as 25 minutes. Users don't need a pilot's license to operate it, but they must take part in minimal training, including sitting in a simulator for about 5 minutes. It's powered by 8, small electric motors and controlled using a responsive joystick. Opener CEO Marcus Ling hopes that the Blackfly flying car will be ready to go on sale, as soon as next year. Unlike other flying car models, Ling plans to keep Blackfly affordable, with a price tag near the cost of a traditional SUV. Earlier models may be more expensive, however. Opener is re-energizing the art of flight with a safe and affordable flying vehicle, that can free its operators from the everyday restrictions of ground transportation, Leng said in a statement. The hope is to democratize three-dimensional transportation such as flying cars, while maintaining safety. Opener has conducted rigorous testing on Black Fly, including 1,000-plus flights and 10,000-plus miles flown. We first flew 10,000 miles. We did 1,000-plus flights, Leng told CBS. Autonomous. And we had a payload of 2,000 pounds. The vehicle, which has been tested in Canada, takes off and lands with a joystick, but also has a return to home feature that enables autonomous flight back to a landing base. Black Fly also has the option of being outfitted with a ballistic parachute. When you press the thumbstick to climb, you have absolute full control. When you stop in the middle of the air and go off the joystick, the aircraft freezes, Leng told CBS. And when I say freezes, it literally freezes in the air. It's not designed to drive on roads. Instead, it's more similar to a human carrying drone, according to the BBC. Leng is joined by a board of directors that includes former Google and NASA employees. Alan Eustace, who previously worked as senior vice president of knowledge at Google and serves on Opener's board, heralded Black Fly's achievements. The future of aviation begins today, Eustace said in a statement. The dream of flight which was so difficult and expensive to obtain, will soon be within the reach of millions Opener is putting the fun back into flying and opening up a new world of possibilities, he added. The move comes as Google founder Larry Page's flying car startup, Kitty Hawk, received funding from the US military earlier this month. It will no doubt help Kitty Hawk get closer to its goal of making the futuristic flying car, available for test flights to the public.